take a look at the sky. It's not a bird, not a plane, but look, a pterosaur soaring overhead. In a world where pterosaurs have never been extinct, what role do they play as food, friends, or a new means of transportation? Prior to exploring these ideas, it is important to remember that, although they are sometimes referred to as pterodactyls, these animals are actually more correctly named pterosaurs, which sets them apart from dinosaurs. Massive flying reptiles known as pterosaurs are home to a wide variety of species, all with unique proportions and forms. While humans were never able to see these animals in person because they went extinct 66 million years ago, long before we exist, Evidence like fossilized remains and old bones provide hints as to what it might have been like to live alongside these massive flying creatures. It raises the question, are we really prepared to solve the puzzles of coexisting with these magnificent old beings? The size and possible use of pterosaurs raise interesting considerations. It seems unthinkable that we would let such unusual creatures to roam freely given the nature of humans. Would they become meat, pets, or perhaps a new way to commute that took the place of our regular cars and bikes. The details become complicated when we consider that some pterosaurs, such as Quetzalcoatlus northropi, grew to heights similar to those of giraffes, with wingspans of up to 11 meters. Still, it could be possible to house this little beast. The name Nemecolopterus crypticus, which means hidden flying forest dweller, refers to one of the smallest pterosaurs. Its wingspan is slightly under 25 centimeters, However, if the idea of taming pterosaurs turns out to be dangerous or unrealistic, then why not investigate their culinary abilities? Though they are large animals, pterosaurs only feed on smaller appetites, so don't have too high of hopes. Their torsos, arms, and legs are very little in comparison to their enormous wingspan. Therefore, the expense and work involved in raising a pterosaur for food would undoubtedly not be justified so perhaps we might be able to ride them. It's a reality now, formerly a theme park ride. If pterosaurs be extant today, you could mount one. However, the flight wouldn't be quite as magnificent as you may think. First and foremost, they were unable to accept anyone. The largest pterosaurs, weighing between 180 and 250 kilograms, could probably only lift and move smaller people. But I don't know if you let your kids ride one of these animals. You would not be in the air for very long after takeoff until it was time to land again. Like modern birds and bats, pterosaurs traveled great distances by glide, depending on flying instead of constant flapping of the wings. After lifting off, they would flap their wings to increase their height. Once there, they would just glide until they felt the need to descend again or take a break. However, they probably wouldn't be able to glide for very long with your additional weight on their back. Furthermore, the flight may not be very comfortable due to the intense cold and increased difficulties breathing at high altitudes. Maybe it's a good thing that pterosaurs were extinct when we existed. Most likely, they weren't as scary as the movies portray them to be. However, if that worries you, imagine how terrifying it would be if dinosaurs were still around. But that's a story for another What If video. If you liked the video, please subscribe, like it, and leave a comment with your thoughts.